Hello, my dear students. I am Ariel Rasan, Chem Solutions. I am the biology facilitator. I am going to discuss today. I am going to discuss about the botany questions. All our mock test successful. I will give you question. In the mari, when there is a younger than the when there is a questions. In the basis of question, can you answer? Some questions are very easy. For example, question, can you answer? Can you answer? But if we botany solve the problem, then the content is very clear. Up, clear up, crystal clear up. Answer that matter. Question, I am going to focus on that. ஒரு சில கொஸ்டின் ரொம்ப சிம்பிளாக வந்துடும் ஒரு சில கொஸ்டின் கொஞ்சம் யோசிச்சு கண்டென்ட் எங்கேருந்து எடுக்கலாம் கரெக்டான டெர்மினாலஜி என்ன யூஸ் பண்ணால் அதுக்கான கரெக்டான ஆன்சராக இருக்கும் அப்படிங்கிறத நம்ம தான் முடிவு பண்ணணும் அதனால் என்சிஆர்டி அப்படிங்கிறது ரொம்ப முக்கியமான ஒரு திங்ஸ் பயாலஜியை ஃபோக்கஸ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு ஃபேஸ் பண்ணுறதுக்கு என்சிஆர்டியை லைன் பை லைன் படிக்கும் சரி நம்ம கொஸ்டின் டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணலாமா இப்போ த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் இன் த பாட்டனி எஸ் This is coming from the biodiversity and its conservations. Yeah, the question is given, uh, asks, the historic convention of biological diversity, the historical convention of biological diversity is also called Earth Summit, held in, the four options is given, one is Jogansburg in 2002, the second option is Rio de Janeiro, the third one Paris in 2002, the fourth one is Rebario das Navas in 1992. The answer is no variables 1992. Whether it is belonging to Rio de Janeiro or Barrio das Navis. This is only the things. Direct questions. NCR is the direct questions. But the correct answer is Rio de Janeiro. Yeah, this is the South American country. Or a city. Rio de Janeiro is the first held. But this is the not an irrelevant answer to the questions. This is not an irrelevant question. This is also irrelevant. But this statement is presented for the other context. So what's what held in Jogan's books 2002? Yeah, after 10 years, yeah, first Air Summit was occurs in 1992. After 10 years, 2002, the world, world submit on sustainable developments. Sustainable development was held in Jogansburg in 2002. The first year summit was held in Rio de Janeiro in 1992. 10 years later, Jogansburg's World Summit on Sustainable Development. Yeah, the meeting was held. More than 190 countries is be signed. Yeah. So that's why it's informally called Rio plus 10 summit. Rio. After Rio de Janeiro, first year summit was happened. After 10 years, this summit was happened that's why it's called rio 10 summit okay so this is the basic questions from ncrt we are going to discuss the second questions so question number 2 from the plant kingdoms or oh, plant kingdom abdinga is a traditional subject plant kingdoms are going to concentrate thallophyta bryophyta pteridophyta gymnosperm angiosperms our characters the reproduction mode of reproduction their economically important species what are the various species usually presented in the concept so which of the following algal this is question coming from algal yeah the question coming from algal algal divisions is characterized by some peculiar characters is given the possession of chlorophyll a and b this is the first important things where each and every algae is going to differentiated in the based on the their pigment system pigment system is one of the most uh, fundamental characters to divide the various group of algae the reserve food material is called storage as the energy storage materials then cellulose cell wall and live in the fresh water as well as marine water habitats but only one things was able to conclude that based on the pigment system in our book three systems three sub classes given so the first one is called green algae green algae otherwise called chlorophyce then brown algae brown algae otherwise called pophyce see then red algae red algae is called rhodophyce when you consider about the pigments the first one is called ab yeah ab is the primary pigments yeah ab cellulosic cell wall is going to present starch is the reserve food materials the second brown algae is mainly made up of pigment ac pigment chlorophyll a and chlorophyll c the red algae is contain chlorophyll a and chlorophyll d But only the a is common for all the three groups that's why the chlorophyll a is considered as the universal pigment 
but B and C and D is going to differ from each groups. Okay. When we come to the photosynthetic products, first one is called starch. The second one is called mannitol. Mannitol. As well as laminarian. Third one is called fluoridian starch. Fluoridian starch. These are the store food material. So based on these characters, we need to be come to the correct answers. So the correct answer is called chlorophyll. The chlorophyll is the primary pigment is A and B. The reserve food material is starch. The cellulosic materials exclusively present in the both fresh water as well as marine waters. Clear? What about the rhodophyce? All the things. Examples can you clear up? Examples is the basic thing. So question number three. The question is coming from uh, the cell is the basic unit of life. Cell is the basic unit of life. Organs, their structure and functions. From the elaborate molecular basis of ingredients, nucleus of function, all the other things. Here only structure and functions. Various cell organelles are usually presented in the cytoplasm. They are going to divide it into three different categories. Uh, whether it is the membraneless cell organelles, single membrane cell organelles and double membrane cell organelles. But the question is coming from related to some cell organelles, ribosomes. Otherwise called the cell organelle ribosomes are composed of ribonucleic acid. Ribosome is mainly made up of ribonucleic acid and proteins. Clear? But it is surrounded by a single membrane. But whether the statement is correct or not. But ribosome is mainly composed of RNA and protein is exclusively correct. This is related to subjects. But when we come to the membranes likewise. Ribosome does not contain any membrane. Ribosome it does not contain membrane. Does not contain a membrane. This is the A membranous. A membranous. Basically, two cell organelles is not uh, membraneless. One is called ribosome, other one is called centrosomes. For example, lysosome is the single membrane structures. Vacuole is the single membrane structures. Yeah, Golgi body, endoplasmic reticulum, everything is single membrane structures. When we come to the double membrane structures, a nucleus, plastid, and mitochondria. So, ribosome are composed of RNA and protein is correct, but does not covered by any membrane. That's why the statement one is incorrect. When we come to the statement two, this is question related to plastids. The plastids is the real site for the photosynthesis in higher plants. Plastic further divided into three categories: yeah? chloroplast, chromoplast, leucoplast. Clear? The leucoplast further divided into three. Primary function of leucoplast is storage. Alleroplast, amyloplast, and alleoplast. But alleoplast does not store the carbohydrate. Alleoplast explicitly store the lipids and fats. It's going to store the lipids. So this is also incorrect statements about structures. Plastic the further plastic by complete detail. What is the thylakoid? What is stroma? What is stroma lamina? Stroma lamina is also called a fed membrane. And the concept is clear. Over line is clear. If you have a clear line, which is belonging to the single membrane structure or double membrane structure, and the confusion is clear. If you have a concept clear, we are going to lose the marks. Clear? If you have a question, both statements are incorrect. So, statement 1 and statement 2 is incorrect. Can you move on to the next question? So, question number 4. This is a question from the Sexual reproduction in flowering plants. How that sexual reproduction is occurs? The sexual reproduction, you know, we can concentrate about the uh, plant embryology. We can concentrate on the plant embryology. Plant embryology. The formation of embryo from the diploid cycoid is called embryo geni. Clear? So the father of plant embryology is called Panchanan Mageshwari. Panchanan, Mageshwari. But the contribution of Panchanan Mageshwari is outstanding. One of the most eminent botany, not only in India, the whole groups. It is going to do how the pollination occurs, how the fertilization is occurs, how the embryo development is occurs. But the question is the basic question. The male gametophyte in an angiosperms. The male gametophyte and angiosperms. What is the other name of male gametophytes? The male gametophyte of angiosperm is always called pollen guys. The male angiosperm. Clear? The male gametophyte is otherwise called angiosperms. Pollen grain. Pollen grain is also called microspore. Microspore. Microspore is otherwise called as a male gamete. 
you when you develop into the male gametophyte it is mainly made up of two cells one is the larger cells is called as the vegetative cells the smaller cell is otherwise called generative cells so the correct answer is pollen grains the stamen you know very much stamen as well as anther the stamen is a complete part anther and filaments going to combine the stamens so generative nucleus is the part of the pollen grains so the correct answer is pollen grains otherwise called male gametophyte when more the next question is question number 5 the question is coming from that biomoleculosis so biomolecule is one of the most important concept in the biological already you are going to study already studied very well in the biomolecule of told chemistry also but nammalku biological aspect related ah kodukanga biomolecule ellame pathina biology related plant la cell oda chemical composition enna mark protein oda nature enna carbohydrate oda nature enna how many of the homopolysaccharide how many of the heteropolysaccharides different body nucleotide and nucleosides but the question is very simple what is the average composition of the word is given what is the average composition of the cell or a cell in the different kind of the chemical in the concentration la irukku so the average composition of the cell the word is given in the ascending orders so totally in the biomolecules matha or four box koduthirupanga the four box yum romba keena understand panni mind la clear ah vechukonu na definitely we can expect secondary metabolites list of secondary metabolites the chemical composition of this various uh, chemical substances at the same time the percentage of the chemicals in the human body as well as earth crust at different kind of the proteins adala romba mukkiyam idella solla podu what is the percentage on average cell la evlo percentage irukku appdi paakna the term is given ascending smaller to larger the word is given smaller to bigger one but the lipid is only one percentage lipid in the cells sorry ions is only one percentage ions is needed for some kind of the uh, activating some enzymatic reactions ionoda concentration romba romba kammiya da cellular when you come to here lipids a 2 percentage lipid is 2 percentage yeah lipid has the energy giving food substances carbohydrate is 3 percentage nucleic acid is 7 percentage this is the sequence correct sequence la order proteins 15 percentage the predominance biomolecule exclusively presented in the cell proteins water you know very well so is the elixir of life 90% is going to occupy water is the medium for all the biochemical reactions that's why the concentration of water is maximum but everything is the same ions is the first priority at the same time water is. but to get here namba konjam careful ah padikinu percentage therinja mattum dhaan indha question ah correct ah illa namba root memory questions without knowing the proper knowledge they are unable to get the proper answers right answer namala kandipa edukka mudiyadhu அப்ப எனக்கு परसेंटेज தெரியல அப்படினா we are going to lose the mass சின்னதா कंफ्यूज பண்ணுங்க ion is the least amount very good water is the maximum amount what about the others percentage but the correct answer is ions lipids carbohydrate nucleic acid protein and water இல்ல அப்படினா we are getting little bit confused the stress level will be increased other question may be lost so கொஞ்சம் கான்சென்ட்ரேட் பண்ணி क्वेश्चन கரெக்ட்டா ரீட் பண்ணி ஆன்சர் கிளியரா வந்து we can move on to next questions so question number 6 this is once again the question from the photosynthesis photosynthesis in higher plants epolume plant physiology ku namba romba adhigamana priority kudutha aganum na moonu lesson irukku photosynthesis in higher plants respiration uh, in plants as well as plant growth and development la the growth hormones as well as growth rate romba romba simple ana questions vega putta information irukku ya yeah, non cyclic photophosphorylation cyclic photophosphorylation calvin cycle hatch and slack pathway c2 respiration factor affecting yeah but information is simple ana or question kitta sir what is mean by photosynthetically active radiations see the question very simple questions photosynthetically active radiations the range is between basically the photosynthesis occur in the visible spectrum of light or visible spectrum thala photosynthesis nadakkudhu appa endha nanometer la photosynthesis nadakkudhu whether it is a 254 to 700 nanometer or 600 to 700 nanometer or 260 to 560 nanometer or 400 to 700 nanometers but the visible spectrum of light is you know very well 400 nanometer to 700 nanometers the light usually absorbed by only in the specific nanometers that's why is considered as the bibgr the word is given bibgr sir more than 700 rate is called red drop 700 ku nanometer ku mele poyirchu appadina photosynthesis nadakkadhu red drop appadi solluva about the active photosynthetically active radiations fall in the range between 400 to 700 is the correct answers so 
So question number seven. This is the simple question. Once again, the coming from the uh, sexual reproduction in flowering plants. First, uh, gametogenesis, gamete transfer, pollination, fertilization, embryo developments. But double fertilization and triple fusion is one of the most peculiar characteristic feature of angiosperms. Clear? This was discovered by Navasins. But double fertilization procedure, the range is not very easy. And the question attend manual. But you know very well the embryo sac structures. This is the seven celled, eight nucleated structures. Seven celled and eight nucleated structures. This is the micropylar end. This is the chalacellar end. Yeah. One is the micropylar larger XL is presented. Two synergies is presented. Two polar nuclei. Three antipodal cells. Clear? But total number of seven cells, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the seven cell. Seven cell is the central cells. Clear? But the question is asked, what is about the chromosome number in the root tip of the barley is 14. The root tip of the barley is the 14. But this is the diploid cells. This is the diploid. Diploid cell number of chromosomes has 14. Okay. Which of the following will show the 21 chromosomes? So there is no uh, proper sequence of the questions. But directa kudra. Barley ila root or tip ila matam padinaal chromosome mirke. Apa yirka pinna killer ka kodi options la yenda cell ila yerevoti or cell ila. But what is the conclusion we need to make? The diploid cell undergo the meiotic division to form the haploid gametes. Haploids, gametes. About the divisions involved, yeah, microsporogenesis and megasporogenesis. About the gamete number is seven. Gamete number is seven. Basically, the plant ploid is 2n here, n is here. Yeah, the endosperm, the ploid of endosperm, total number of chromosome in the endosperm cell is called 3n. About 7 into 3, 21. Okay. 7 into 3 is 21. Now, the endosperm is 3n. Now, the gamete is n. Now, 3 into n is called 3. 3 into 3 is 21. Now, the gamete is called 3. 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 Now, the gamete For example, the male gamete is going to carry it out by the pollen tubes. This is the male gamete. One of the male gamete is going to fuse us with the egg to form a diploid cycle. The other male gamete is going to fuse us with the polar nuclei to form 7, 7, 7. The 3 sevens are 20 ones. But the endosperm cell is the correct answer. Egg cell is the haploid, N. This is a 3N. Against the male gamete is N. Antipodal cells also N. But 3N condition is the same as the endosperm. The primary function of endosperm is provide a nourishment, provide a nutrition to the uh, new uh, development of embryo. So, question number eight. The statement one is related to the enzymes divided into subclasses, uh, sorry, six classes with four to twelve subclasses. Okay, this is the first statement. So, the question is coming from biomolecules. Once again, the question in biomolecules and the Dabler called the line with a theory full of the entire polysaccharides are there, proteins are there, protein are primary structure, secondary structure, tertiary structure, partner structure, all of them are directly enzyme. But enzyme are there, 6 classes are there, there is no doubt. Total number of enzymes are 6 classes. Yeah, oxidose, dehydrogenase, transferase, hydrolysis, isomerase, ligases, lyases, 6 enzyme classes are there. But our question is correct, 6 enzymes are correct, this is correct statements. But each with 4 to 13 subclasses. But the question was asked by 4 to 12 subclasses. It's incorrect. But the first statement is incorrect. When you come to the second statement, enzymes are named five, five digits numbers. It's not a five digit numbers. All the enzymes, for easy understanding purpose, they are allotted only the four digit numbers. All enzymes are four digits allotted. Easy and Without enzymes, there is no the fermentation process. Where the pharmaceutical companies, everything, all the chemical process, all the biological process, all the enzyme are dependent on the enzymology of the branch introduced, and all the enzyme proper name. Number of digits they used to be given, four digits. The render statement is NCRT of their codependence. So the both statement one and two are the incorrect. Statement one and statement two are the incorrect one. So question number, question number 9, question number 
सो क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन इज है क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन ओके सो ऑलरेडी डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन इन द मेंडलियन डाइगी क्रास इन द मेंडलियन डाई हाइब्रिड क्रास द रेशियो अमंग द होमोजाइकस डोमिनेंट्स हेडिरोजाइकस डोमिनेंट्स होमोजाइकस रिसेसिव ट्राइट्स इन एफ टू जनरेशंस द ट्राइट्स इन द एफ टू जनरेशंस ओके ट्राइट इन द एफ टू जनरेशंस बेसिकली यू नो वेरी वेल्स द स्टडी ऑफ इनहेरिटेंस ऑफ टू जीन्स इज कॉल्ड एज अ डाई हाइब्रिड क्रास इज गिवन क्लियरली फीनोटाइपिक रेशियो फीनो टाइपिक रेशियो नाइन इज टू थ्री इज टू थ्री इज टू वन जीनो टाइपिक रेशियो जीनो टाइपिक रेशियो वन इज टू टू इज टू टू इज टू फोर इज टू वन इज टू टू इज टू वन इज टू टू इज टू वन बट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग समथिंग रिलेटेड टू हेटिरोजाइकस एंड होमोजाइकस एस वेल एस होमोजाइकस डॉमिनेट एवरीथिंग इज रिलेटेड टू जीनो टाइप्स கொஞ்சம் கேர்ஃபுல்லா நம்ம ஸ்டடி பண்ணோம் அப்படினா ஜீனோடைப் பத்தி ஏதோ ஒரு क्वेश्चन வந்து தி क्वेश्चन डायरेक्टली ஆஸ்க் फ्रॉम தி ஜீனோடைப் பை விச் ஆஃப் தி ஃபாலோயிங் இஸ் ஹோமோசைகஸ் டாமினன்ட்ஸ் அப்ப யார் யார் கிராஸ் நடக்குமா ரவுண்ட் எல்லோ ரவுண்ட் எல்லோ as well as ringled green ringled greens ரவுண்ட் எல்லோ அண்ட் ரிங்கிள் we are going to get f1 generation all are round yellow capital r small r capital y small y when are going to give us that self polynomial that occurs here the total number of dominants here is for example capital r capital r capital y capital y this is the only one is used here at the same time recessive is small r small r small y small y but heterozygous is capital r small r capital y small y but only we are going to get 1 4 and 1 the correct answer is 1 is to 4 is to 1 is the correct answer number f2 a konjam careful la study panna appadina total number of homozygous dominant ore ore species tha individual la irukum adhe mari heterozygous dominant mottham naal irukum exact homozygous recessive once again how many is present at 1 so the correct answer is 1 is to 4 is to 1 question number 11 from uh, anatomy of flowering plants okay our statement one the monocot row the pith is large and well developed the clears yeah basically in the monocot root pith is very large and well developed there is no doubt the monocot root dicot root monocot stem dicot stem monocot leaf dicot leaf comparative anatomy clear about but the pith is very large but well developed and the very very importance have very few were xylem fundals basically monocot root the primary characters is the polyarc polyarc in the sense more than six vascular bundles presented but the statement is given only the fewer xylem the fewer xylem bundle is the characteristic feature of dicotyps so this is the first statement is incorrect statement 2 in monocot stem the peripheral vascular bundle yeah peripheral vascular bundle this is the peripheral vascular bundles okay this is the central vascular bundles peripheral vascular bundle are generally larger this is the erect irrelevant diagrams diagram le epdi irukar when we compare to monocot stems okay the peripheral vascular bundle usually presented in the center larger peripheral region is very smaller this is the original structures now the periya vascular bundle central occupy panirukum smaller vascular bundle is going to occupy in the peripheral region or corner basically the structure you split it's a human skeletal like structures human skeletal like structures so this is also a, wrong statements so both statement 1 and 2 is incorrect in nature so question number 12 which of the following statement are is correct about the cilia and flagella this question from once again the cell is the basic unit of and various cell organ 
Cilian flagella is the primary locomotory organ for the prokaryotic cells. Okay. Well, cilia and flagella is covered with the plasma membrane. Yeah. Their core is called axonemes. This is the correct statement. When we come to the cilia, cilia smaller. Basically, cilia is the very smaller in nature. Very small. When we come to the euclina or bacteria, the flagella is very longer. But if the statement is given, cilia or comparatively is longer. This is the incorrect statement. The responsible for cell movement is correct, but comparatively smaller responsible for cell movement. Okay. So, uh, statement B is incorrect. Okay. Statement B is incorrect. The axoneme usually has nine tablets, is radially arranged in the peripheral uh, microtubules. Microtubules chemically made up of microtubuli and a pair of centrally located microtubules. But the arrangement is called nine plus two arrangements, we usually see in the cilia and flagella. Okay? So, this is the correct statements. But A is correct, C is correct. So, D, statement D, the peripheral triplets also interconnected by the linkers. Basically, peripherals already the statement is given two. It's not a triplets. Triplets are called tablets. But the peripheral proteins are the tablets. So this is also this is the irrelevant statements. When we come to the cilia and flagella, is emerging from the centriole like structure is called basal body is the correct statements. When no statement are careful or read, but the answer is clear. Cilia size is smaller one. Yeah, flagella only longer one. Easier to identify. That is why tablets are characteristic. 9 plus 2. The arrangement of the in only the two structures are presented. One, second one, third one, fourth one, fifth one, six, seven, eight, totally nine. Central is going to be located in this manner. This is the correct success. This is only the given diagrams. Yeah, NCRT. So the correct answer is A C E. Question number 13. So read the column 1 with column 2 and select the correct answer from the given code. But directly we can come to the principles of ingredients and variations, 12th standard. So ratio we need to be keeping in mind very clearly for the genetics. Ratio is the direct question. Simple question, very simple. But they are not exceeding monohybrid, uh, monohybrid class, dihybrid class and polygenic. But genotypic ratio of dihybrid class, you know very well, genotypic ratio, length of the genotypic ratio is otherwise called 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1. But phenotypic ratio of monohybrid class is 3 is to 1. The genotypic class of monohybrid class 1 is to 2 is to 1. The ratio in case polygenic inheritance, when the two polygenes are involved, the ratio is 1 is to 4 is to 6 is to 4 is to 1. Sorry, when in case. Ratio in two cases. For example, if I am going to change the words, when three polygenes are involved, poly genes involved, polygenes involved. Clear? The answer is one is to six is to fifteen is to twenty is to fifteen is to six is to one. This is the ratio, but it is not given. They are asking only the two polygenes. If I look at the questions for 1 for 3, yeah, 2 for 4, so the correct answer is 3, A3, B4, C2 and D1, this is the correct answer, clear, the ratio is clear and important, examples, incomplete dominance for uh, uh, dark flower, and so on, anti-rainer major, so that is clear, so question number 14, so select the incorrect statements. Once again, question from the 12th standard ecology unit. So the David Tillman showed that increased diversity contributed to higher productivity. This is the uh, most acceptable things. Whenever the uh, population is going to increase, what will happen? The productivity automatically is going to increase. This is the correct statements. Alexander von Humboldt is called father of plant geography. Alexander von Humboldt observed within the region of species richness or a particular place although maybe village maybe the state maybe the district maybe uh, the uh, continent or kurupita alavu da species oda richness adhigama irukum adukapra automatically species richness irukadu is going to stop yeah that's why the increased explored area but up to the limit this is the most valid uh, of the point of 